core module is uh, the, the main part of the Tonality Masks uh, panel and is uh, where all uh, selections and masking is, uh, is performed and may be performed very, very, very pre pre precisely. Uh, the module is, has two main uh, different uh, way of uh, performing selections, one being the iris which is the, uh, the last one and also the, the more powerful and also the classic where the classic is uh, only the, the buttons to perform uh, to, to launch a specific a specific mask uh, on, on iris we have uh, several uh, several different uh, tools to perform selections so we have uh, a picker which may be used for example to uh, select a specific or to target a specific color so once you click, uh, you, you will be uh, displayed with the mask. If you click again, you, you will be displayed uh, uh, with the image again. So you can select, uh, let's say, another uh, another point. So you, you can uh, perform selections in terms of, of color, where if you click on uh, neutral points, you won't get any, any selection, of course. Then you, you may select on tones, so in terms of cold or warm, if you click on, on a cold color you will get all the cold tones, if you click instead of, the, of a warm, on a warm color you will get all warm tones selected, but also you may select in terms of luminosity. Oh, so you, if you click uh, let's say on uh, a mid color you will get uh, mid tones selections, if you click, uh, let's say, on uh, bright color, you will get a light, light selection. And this is, uh, uh, if, if you want, the picker is, uh, is needed where you want to target a specific uh, area of the photography. Otherwise, you will have uh, some global button, buttons, which allows you to select in one click the cold or the warm tones or the specific colors. When you click a specific color, of course, the, the color is uh, target, uh, targeted on, on the wheel or you can select uh, the, the hue of the color you want just by clicking or rotating the wheel. So it, it is, as you see, very, very uh, quick and, and, and precise. You, you also have some handles if you want to customize the, the intensity and the feathering of the of, of the selection and you have the classic uh, luminosity and uh, luminosity masks uh, uh, buttons so every button says its own luminosity intensity so you have the mid the mid tones and then the light from 1 to 6 and the dark from dark to 6 the, the background color uh, also is um, uh, will uh, Will display the, the main tones, which is uh, which is targeting. So let's say le, le, let's get back to the to the image. Let's say we that we want to select all uh, all the greens. We may start with uh, a green tones on on the wheel, and let's say we will want them to refine the image the the selection. We can click here on, on refine. It will be displayed uh, uh, with uh, a curve tools which allows you to customize the selection to make it more strong or more soft depending on what you need to do and what you have to target as a color. Then as you click OK, the, the mask is, uh, is being recorded and then you may apply the, the, the selection as a mask or you can, for example, when the mask is, is uh, the selection is active, you can create, uh, for example, a curve adjustment levels just targeting only the selected uh, selected tones with uh, with the mask. <clears throat> so just to summarize, the uh, core panel is made of three different sections. As you see, maybe the rounded borders uh, around the, around the module. The the main one is where the selection happens. The mid one, which is made of two different parts, is where you can, on the top, refine the selection in terms of refine, convert uh, from mask to selections and, and the opposite, contract or expand the selection, hide the margin ends when you have the uh, selection active, 
invert the selection, deselect or apply, and then you have a specific adjustment levels which may be uh, called uh, as you do with uh, with the adjustment module in Photoshop. But when you have uh, the difference is that when you have a selection active by clicking on, on these buttons you will get the adjustment levels with the, with the specific uh, mask and then you have a dodge and burn uh, tool so le let's say just to demonstrate uh, the functionalities uh, let's go to a different uh, to a, a real a real image this is a demo images uh, a demo image for uh, for printing uh, so we have uh, for different, uh, for different pictures. So le let's say we want to target, let's go to the, let's focus just on this one. So let's say, for example, just make a, a concrete example on what, what the panel can do. So let's say we want to uh, enhance the, the color of the sky. So we have different ways of doing that. We, we can go in terms of luminosity, in terms of tonality, or in terms of color. So let's say we want to target specifically just the sky. So we, we can go to the cold tones, for example, and the cold tones is doing a good job because it's selecting the, the background of the sky, but it's also selecting uh, some part of the, of the grass. Uh, let's try to, to focus on cyan, cyan or uh, on blue. You will see all selections. The blue is more precise for the sky, but it's not that intense. And the cyan is also including something on the background which we don't want to, uh, which we don't want. And of course, we are not uh, working on the warm tones because there is uh, nothing uh, about uh, no, no information about the sky. So we may start, for example, with uh, with uh, a blue. And we may see if uh, we want to, for example, add some cyan to the selection, but not the green. So we can uh, click on the plus and click then on the cyan. So the masks, uh, as you see, will get uh, 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 sound the, each other and you will get an, an, a, a wider selection. And we can then go to refine just trying to focus on just on the sky if we are able to remove by closing the shadows of the curve we are going to exclude everything which is in the background and we may also try to strengthen the selection of the sky so this, this could be quite good and then after we have selected the scale, let's say we want to enhance the color with a, uh, with a curve. So we may add a curve just on, uh, on the sky. And we can try to, to enhance the color of, of the sky if we want. More blue, more, more contrast on the sky. We may also try to see if uh, just uh, setting the uh, the blend on luminosity we, we we are getting we are not getting a boost in the in the blue colors and if we see before and after the color of the sky is uh, is enhanced let's say now we want to um, enhance the contrast in the cloud what we can do we can try to uh, pick here for example the luminosity but you see that the clouds has uh, some bright tones here and also has some mid-tones here and what, what we can uh, try to do is try to start to, to select uh, um, the, the highlights and then we may try to, to enhance by refining the, just the selection of the, of the clouds we need, of course, to avoid to selecting the, the background of the sky and just focus on, on the clouds. This is a, a quite good selection. We are not getting the darker past part of the clouds, but it's something that we may also want to avoid. We have also selected some portion of the, of the grass, which may, that we may refine uh, later in on the map.
task. So let's say we add a curve on this kind of selection and then we can highlight uh, to show the mask and then with uh, a brush we can 100% opacity we may mask out the part we don't need on the on the mask just to focus on the clouds so let's say we have this uh, this mask customized and then we can just focus on enhancing the the contrast of the clouds we need to avoid to clip the highlights because they are they are on the edge once we are happy with the contrast applied to the to the clouds again i would suggest to put the since it's a contrast the blending mode on luminosity and try to see the before and after so as you see we have applied some specific contrast to just just to the just to the clouds so we we can do something else let's say we we want to be creative and we want to change the color of these uh, of these flowers uh, from yellow to, to another tone. So what we can do is we can start by selecting the yellows and we have a quite good selection of the grass in, in foreground and we can refine just to make sure we are we are getting the maximum contrast and to avoid to select something which is out of the uh, behind the foreground so we are quite happy with the, with the selection we may again if we want to uh, to be precise to mask the the upper part of the selection so let's say we are applying the use saturation we will show the mask by clicking alt and we are going to mask again the, the part that we don't need in the mask like this, very very quick, I'm not going to be super precise, but just to give you the sense of what we can do. So, we are happy with the selection of the yellow part of the flowers, and then with the hue saturation tools, we can just change the hue of the flowers to to get a color that we like so let's say we want some lavender in this image so maybe it's a bit too a bit too saturated and we can do something like this to, to get the sense of the lavender we may raise some the lightness a bit and we we shall fine-tune the, the saturation like this so of course this is something which is crazy I, I wouldn't do this in in one of my images but just to, to let you understand how easy it is to uh, select uh, uh, to target a specific color without uh, without needs to to, to get crazy in, uh, in selecting in using color range tools and uh, in making some selection like this because it, it, it will not be as uh, as powerful as, as it is with uh, with the tool 